Hey guys, Kev here, and I wanted to do a disassembly skip bearing swap on the Devo Knives Growler V2. This is the all black wash version. And then, of course, we have the purple and bead blast. I grabbed the other one. Figure I'll show you all three. These are dropping on the 4th of March. Uh, I think it's like noon at White Mountain Knives. So we have uh, 140 of these. So it'll probably be like 130 available of the blue with weave and the two-way uh, satin. It's not a belt satin. This is a machine satin and then horizontal flats. Um, that way we can keep the cost at 109 with code, lefty 10 or otherwise, it'll be 100 bucks. So 154 CM, you guys know the deal. Purple one here has a bead blasted or sand washed blade um, and purple accents. And there will be some hardware kits available as usual uh, at the drop. And then we have the all blacked out version. Um, there's like 60 of these probably and about 60 of these. And then like I said, 140 or so of these. We ordered more of the blue because that's the one you guys gobbled up last time. If I could do it over, I'd probably order the same amount of each because uh, this one's freaking sexy. Um, anyway, let's get into it. Again, it'll be a White Mountain Knives drop if you're curious. Um, so you got the pivot screw. Pretty standard Devo affair here. I've done this a few times. But you're going to have your pivot screw, your body screws. And then depending on the knife, you may need to remove the clip screw. I think on this one, I do not. Nope. And we got lucky there, that collar came right out. Uh, definitely had some people mention their collars are tough to get out on the uh, mashes specifically. And all I can tell you is I think they use some kind of, oh, see, look at that. I think they use some kind of um, oil, they definitely do, underneath them. And that sort of suctions them in. And when it's titanium or something, it's a lot harder to get them out with the uh, carbon fiber. There might be some, you know, micro voids or spacing, you know, stuff like that. It's not metal. Um, so they'll come out easier. I just try to use, like, if it gets stuck. Uh, let me get this back in there. Uh, let's see. Oh, we did make this lip here a little bit thicker the shelf there because we noticed on the nips they were pretty thin and um if you you know work too hard on that collar you can actually break that piece of carbon fiber because again if it's titanium it's metal it's not going to break but with carbon with enough stress you might be able to crack it so we made those thicker i think the growler v2 or the mash v2 is the first one to do that and it just makes the scale like ever so slightly thicker 0.025 or something millimeters on both sides. So it's like half a millimeter total or something. Very marginal amount. Anyway, um, the things I recommend to get these out is to take a cloth, kind of just shove it through, try to uh, pinch it off, God, Kev, and then pull it through as far as you can, right? And then hopefully that takes up the space there. And then when you yank it out, the collar might come out with it. Um, that's the first thing I always recommend. The next one is to take a Q-tip, which I don't have here. I have one of these. I'm testing these for disassembly and makeup Q-tips. But pretend this is an um, uh, actual Q-tip. And you kind of bend it in half, right? Um, actually, yeah, because a Q-tip would have both ends, right? So you bend it in half, so you have both ends of the Q-tip down here. And then you jam that in right? Because you can kind of squeeze the cotton and that might get in there stuck enough that when you yank it out, this comes out. Um, if that doesn't work, I usually try to recommend maybe like a needle, uh, like a sewing needle, try to get in around it, maybe try to get into that pocket right there where the captive is and try to wiggle it out. And if all else fails, I usually just recommend heat. So if you take a soldering iron is recommended, probably works the best, maybe a blow dryer or something like that. And you just uh, heat up this area, it'll dry out that lube underneath and kind of push the collar up and out. So hopefully that helps. Um, 
and absolute worst case, just hit us up, you know? I've had to do a couple for people, and that's fine. Um, or you just leave your uh, hardware the way you had it, I guess. Um, but I'd like you guys to be able to do what you want, so. Anyway, there you go. Backspacer just lifts off. There's a pin down there to help secure everything. And then you just pop that back on. Good to go. Here's our blade. We're going to uh, clean everything. Should be a pretty simple process. Clean the tang here. And then one important thing is to make sure you clean the lock face because that will sometimes be covered in oil. And, um, you know, sometimes the coating is still on there a little bit. And, um, yeah, you just want to make sure it's nice and clean. All right. We have our skiffs, my down, my down uh, set. Okay. Man, I really need to fill this up. What I need is the five millimeters. There's one. Let me grab a couple more here. Put those in there. Those are the most common size. Uh, if you're curious, basically every Devo knife we've done takes five millimeter, one sixteenth, 11 ball skiff bearings. The only one that didn't was the original growler um, that I don't think is very common anymore out there. But that one takes five mil, three sixty fourth. But these are 5 mil, 1 16th. But the stouts, the mashes, the buzzes, the growlers, the lush, the nip, they all take them. With the lush, you just need uh, 5 mil washers, too, because uh, Concept uses proprietary race washers. All right, shutting up. You can try the donut oil again from the Crispy Donut community. If you guys are interested in this stuff, check out their website. I think Lefty10 works over there. Also, the bearings and everything you can get over at Skiff Workshop. And um, you can use code LEFTYEDC at checkout. And you'll get 10% off at Skiff. Recommend picking up a finger bit, a test fit card as well. So you have everything you need for disassemblies. Also, while you're there, sign up for the Drop Point. The Drop Point is their new newsletter, which will give you a weekly email it's free and it'll tell you when there's upcoming drops who's drops when all that good stuff very very uh nice thing to have in the community here's a qr code pause screenshot and uh yeah skiff's doing that if you're a maker you can add yourself to the list so that your stuff shows up on there helps everybody pretty much a little bit of KPL Heavy there. I am going to take a microfiber tip. These are on Amazon. All my tools are linked down below in the description. -ness. Just clean out that detent hole. Sometimes you get some schmutz on there. All right. Should be pretty straightforward. Pop this on. Where's my... Collar, pop the collar, you know what I mean? I gotta clean, actually, I'll just do it now. Clean this. Tighten this down. Do, do, do. See, it's spinning because it's on a barrel. So then you just take your uh, finger bit here. Oops, that has a T10 in there, I think. Hey, perfect. That's where that went. Okay. So you just take your finger bit, get it locked in there, hold it in place, and then you can tighten this side. And now everything tightens. It's such a nice tool to have.
All right. Oh, we are all messed up here, sorry. I was like, why is that so off center? And that's because ugh, this is not locked in properly. Uh-oh. Okay, hang in there, folks. Disengage and get in there, you sucker. There we go. Now she's in. Should be anyway. Let's see. There we go. Rock solid, no play or anything. Can back off a little bit. I think it's a little off center. So I did grab this one out of the group because it was a little off center, but there we go. Pretty much good to go. Boom. Skips are in. Don't have any play, don't have any rock. What was that? Oh, that was a stop pin, I think. Hold on. Yeah. Yep, solid. Nothing. It was just a little loose. So yeah, it's a hair off center, but I'm okay with that. I could honestly uh, fix that if I just loosen these, push the blade over, do that whole thing, but I don't care because this is going to just be for me to carry and use for marketing. I always try to grab, you know, whichever one doesn't pass QC, there's usually not many. Um, so all blacked out, black wash, CF, black hardware, black collars, black backspacer, skiff bearings, great action. I mean, this is fresh out of the box been flicked like 10 times so it's gonna break in this is gonna go away because that detent ball is gonna cut through that coating they don't come pre-polished uh on the bearing track because they're uh hundred dollar knives kubi's not taking the time to do that unfortunately which is fair and honestly i mean look at the action doesn't really need it so uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you for uh, checking out the video. I hope you guys are excited for the drop on the Growler V2s. Again, that's going to be March 4th at noon Eastern uh, at White Mountain Knives. Pretty sure on that time. I know the date is correct. So uh, let me know your thoughts. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.